Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotox here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out a case for the Pixel 7 Pro made by Google. So this is Google's official case for the Pixel 7 Pro. And right away, let's get the price out of the way. So this thing goes for $29.99, which is a fairly considerable price. It's not the cheapest, uh, unlike some speaking cases, which you can actually pick up for like $10, $12. This is a little bit on the higher side, but it's not too much. It's not like 50 bucks, like some Apple cases that we have right now. So it's a pretty decent price. We do have three colors with this. We have obsidian, which is the one I have here. It is the black one. I do have a snow colored uh, Pixel 7 Pro. However, I wanted to go for the obsidian color. We also do get chalk and then we also do get hazel. So it's a little greenish case, which is similar to the hazel color of the Pixel 7 Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Very nice packaging, very nice representation of the case, what it looks like, what device it's for. And that is basically about it. And then we also do get it in a couple of languages, as you can see, case for uh, I don't really know how to say the rest, so let's just go ahead and open this up. And it's also made from over 30% recycled plastic, which is nice to know. So all you gotta do is just pull this tab, and boom, that's it. So here is the case, and we don't get anything else inside of here. So let's plop that to the side, and open this up. So it is packaged very neatly, and here is our Pixel 7 Pro case. So this is the official case, there is only one official case, we only have this one right here, and it definitely does look really nice. There is this nice little shiny Pixel uh, Google logo, which actually looks really nice, adds to the design. Let's see what we get in here, so it says hashtag Team Pixel, uh, just some warranty stuff, so we don't really need that. So let's go ahead and plop this case onto our snow colored Pixel 7 Pro, and let's start off with the top right. And then go left, bottom left, bottom right. So that is it. So super easy to install and a really nice and subtle case. So it doesn't add too much to the weight uh, right away. That's all I can tell. Uh, it's not too thick of a case. The phone is already big in my opinion. It's a pretty large phone. So I don't really like having cases on here. I've been using it without a case for a little over two weeks now and it's been really nice I haven't had any major drops or anything so it's been perfectly fine but again if you do want to plop a case on there this one does seem like a really nice one so let's go ahead and start off with the back we have this nice uh, plastic -y finish to it so it does feel premium obviously it is a case made by Google we have this nice shiny pixel uh, Google logo right there which adds to the design it gives some contrast to it and then for the camera we don't have Cut, uh, we don't have an area which covers the sides, so it is all cut out so you can see the whole camera array right here, which I don't really like too much. Uh, it doesn't really protect it too much. I wish they actually covered these sides as well, like some other cases that I've reviewed on this channel, and it gives some extra protection, but overall, we do get a nice lip across it, so if you do drop it once back, then it should be perfectly fine unless you get something on the edges of this camera lens. So overall, the back plate does look really nice and simple and does do the job of protecting your camera layer, camera lens. So moving on to the front, again, we do have our cutouts for our top firing speaker right there. And then we have our cutouts for the bottom firing speaker plus our charging port cutout, which is reasonably sized. You can use some third party chargers, but again, you do get your cable. So if you don't lose it, as long as you don't lose it, you should be fine. We also do get a nice little cutout for our microphone up top, which is always nice to know. So the front display, obviously this phone does have a curved display and that does lead to some issues with it. One of the main issues is going to be the fact that you can't really protect the sides of the phone with any type of case and that is a manufacturer's, pro it's not a manufacturer problem, it's the problem that the device just has when you have a curved display. So even Google themselves, they couldn't really do much to protect the edges of the display. However, to fix that problem, you actually just make the lips on the top and the bottom. You can see that right there. And then it should be perfectly fine if you drop it face front like this. So if you do drop it, the top and the bottom lips are gonna be the first parts hitting the impact, getting the impact, absorbing the impact. And so it should be fine. But again, if you do hit something on the sides, which I've actually had with my S10 Plus, uh, which also had a curved display and I actually hit one of the edges, the screen just cracked completely, which is one of the issues with these edge display phones. But overall, front protection wise, you are getting the best for what you can with a curved display device. So moving on to one of the most important tests in my opinion, the buttons test. 
which actually do look really nice. They have the same shiny uh, polish. Uh, they are very polished, just like the uh, Google logo on the back. Again, we do have that polish right there. And again, uh, the main reason I do this is because some cases, you kind of have to click a little harder than usual to actually go ahead and click the normal buttons. And it does actually get annoying after a while. So if we don't have that issue, then this is a perfect case. So starting off the power button, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet so you can hear these clicks if there are any. So it feels really nice and very high quality uh, compared to even last year's uh, Pixel case. If you don't have, uh, if you haven't seen that video, I do have a video on that as well for the Pixel 7 Pro. The buttons weren't as nice as this one. And then the volume rocker. And as you can hear from that, it's very tactile and very clicky. So overall passes basically every test you can, uh, you need in a case. So overall, it is a pretty decent case. Would I recommend this case? Uh, I definitely would. I might actually even rock this case for a little while. It seems like a pretty nice case that I might use. Feels really nice in the hand. Has a premium finish, obviously. It is made by Google, which makes a phone right here. We do have very premium buttons, and then all the cutouts are perfect. The only thing I don't really like is gonna be the back plate right here. So that is one of the major issues that I have with this. Uh, I wish they actually covered up the lenses. I guess it does look better, but if you're going for protection, this isn't going to be the case you want. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if you do want to check this product out, 